Welcome back to the Edmonds School District Automotive Training Center. This is Hot Rod High School. In today's episode, we are going to take a look at voltage drop testing in the starting circuit and the charging circuit of this 2008 Acura. Now, I know we said that we're going to perform that test on a 2008 Acura, but sometimes these tests are a little bit easier to show how to do on some of our older vehicles. This is a 1965 Barracuda. And the reason why I'm over at this car right now is because the starter motor is right up on top where you can see and get to it really easily. So I wanted to be able to illustrate where we need to hook up our two ports, our two test terminals um, on an easy to see vehicle. And then we'll go back and do the actual test on the Acura. So when I'm hooking up my leads to be able to do the voltage drop test, I need to turn my meter on to DC voltage. And I'm going to take my red test lead here and put that on the battery positive terminal. And I'm gonna take this black lead and move it over here and I'm gonna clip it down onto the positive terminal of the starter motor. So now you can see there's our starter motor. Here is the main positive terminal on our starter motor. So where the large battery cable bolts onto the starter motor, that's where you wanna put the black terminal end on your voltmeter. Okay, now that we've seen the setup, let's move back over to that Acura and complete this test. Okay, we've returned back over here to the Acura and we're ready to begin our voltage drop test. The first step that we have in completing this test is to disable the fuel system so this vehicle won't be able to start up while we're cranking it over. So we're going to remove the fuel pump fuse from the vehicle in order to do that. Uh, that's located inside the passenger compartment. And so we'll go in there right now and take a look at finding that fuel pump fuse and removing it. While you probably can't read it on the recording, the inside fuse panel cover here has a map of all the fuses that are located in there. And it shows me that fuse number 19 is the fuse for the fuel pump on this vehicle. So we'll go inside the car right now and remove fuse number 19 to disable this uh, engine so that it won't be able to start up while we're cranking the engine over for the test. So I'm here at the interior fuse panel. It's located just to the left of the brake pedal, obviously right next to the uh, hood popping latch. And now we're gonna remove fuse number 19 which is the fuse that runs the fuel pump. So now with the fuse out, the vehicle is disabled. It won't be able to start, but the engine will still be able to crank over. And then we can measure the voltage drop on the starting circuit. Now that we have the fuel system disabled, we can hook up the two test leads for our voltmeter. The red one is gonna go up to the positive battery post. Let's take and stick it in there. Now, the black lead, like we showed you over on the Barracuda, it needs to hook up to the main terminal on the starter motor. Unfortunately, on this vehicle, the starter motor is way down in there underneath the intake manifold. So we're gonna have a rough time getting to that unless you have very small hands and are able to fit into a tiny little space right there. And so you can see this red wire that we have right here. That's actually a test port that we wired into this car just so we could do this particular test. That's why we wanted to show it to you on the Barracuda where you could actually physically see the starter motor that we were testing. So on this vehicle, in order to perform our voltage drop test, take our black lead 
and put it into this handy test port that we have right here. So now all you have to do is crank the engine over and watch the meter while the engine is cranking to get your reading. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get into the vehicle and we're gonna take this voltmeter and put it up on the windshield so that we can read it while sitting inside the car. So now we have our test leads all hooked up, sitting inside the vehicle. We have the key ready, vehicle's disabled so it won't start. I'm now going to put in the key, turn it, crank the engine over. We wanna crank the engine over for uh, a maximum of 15 sec seconds, as, as little as we possibly can to avoid doing any kind of uh, damage to the starting system. And then just while the engine's cranking, we'll get our reading. So I was getting about 0.13 volts, which is completely acceptable uh, for a reading for this particular vehicle. Um, now, if you saw a, a number that was higher than the old specs that, that we have continue to say things like uh, 0.5 volts, um, that's a very high reading. Um, really anything over 0.3 or 0.4, I'm starting to suspect that there may be a problem somewhere in the system. Uh, this can identify problems with a, a, you know, a bad starter motor, or maybe a bad cable connection, uh, you know, maybe a, a bad uh, cable. The actual battery wire might be starting to uh, go bad for some reason um, or deteriorate. I've seen this happen with a, a whole big bunch of, of different things happening. I've even seen ones where we had a, a slow crank condition and a, a high voltage drop reading, and it ended up being that the air conditioning compressor was seized up. And so it was putting extra pressure on the starting the starter motor to try and crank the engine over. So a whole variety of things can be determined based on this test. And then obviously at this point, you would want to go through, uh, take your meter back off. You would put the uh, fuse back into its place and confirm that the vehicle does start up again before moving on to any other testing.